Hi, this is Jeff, and today I wanted to take this video to show you a DIY structure that you can build as a rain fly to enjoy the outdoors uh, on your deck or on your patio. And I've been meaning to do one of these for a while. It's uh, very rainy here in the Northwest, and I really like to enjoy the outdoors. It's actually uh, you know, fairly mild winters, only gets to about freezing, and uh, with a nice infrared heater out here, you can really uh, enjoy the time, read a book, enjoy the views and listen to the rain. It's very serene. So uh, this whole thing only costs about $45 to build. It's a structural steel framework with uh, just some scrap metal that I got at the scrapyard. So really any long type of metal will work if you want to do it yourself. So I'll go ahead and walk you through how I built it um, and an explanation of the process. So with that, let's get to it. All right, so for this build, I used nine steel rods in total, and each rod was nine feet long. And they're similar to rebar. I got them at the scrapyard, but they're smooth around the sides. I just think aesthetically it looks a lot nicer. And so what I did is I welded a uh, large washer type on the top of the rods so that it allows the tarp to drape over without catching on the sharp edges of the rods. And I mirrored uh, the second side to the first side so that they would match up perfectly. Uh, and what I did is then I put them up and tried to assemble it. But the problem was is that when I tack welded on the, the cross members here and then I stood them up, it ended up crashing down on me. So I had to re-weld them and there was some trial and error involved. But eventually I was able to get them up there and install three cross beams. And I allowed for a little bit of extra room so that I could adjust the structure as needed. And then I just cut off the ends with a cutting wheel on those cross beams. And then lastly, I went around and I re-welded all the joints so that it was very structurally sound. And then after I did that, I also welded on a few loops around the structure. And that's so that the tarp could affix easily to it and make it nice and taut. And you can do this with basic welding skills. I'm not an expert by any means. I've just learned from trial and error. And so after that was all done, I worked on getting it up on the deck and it was very heavy. So I had to eventually use the ladder and put the camera down. But once it was up there, the rest was fairly easy. I was able to drape the tarp over and then also start to string up the lights, which really added for that nice ambiance uh, at using it at night to read a book or otherwise. Okay, so here's a look at the finished product. And as you can see, the back is fully covered with the tarp. And then on the front, it drapes open so that you can look out towards the view. But there's a lot of depth there. So you can lean your chair back and have full coverage. You know, just to give you a, a ballpark, uh, that whole footprint of the structure is approximately, I'd say about eight feet by 10 feet, uh, at least. So at least uh, 80 square feet. And it does a really good job of covering it. And I'll go ahead and move towards it so I can explain a few things in more detail. Uh, I use springs to affix the tarp, uh, make it nice and taut. And uh, in the middle of the tarp, I had to, to spring a pole in the middle just to help bring that up, otherwise it draped down. And on the inside, you have all these lights so you can read or just have light out here as you need at night. And a couple other notes. This is really just for enjoying it out here when it's raining. Uh, if you want to look at the stars or something like that, maybe I'll explain in a different video, but this is actually a free couch that I got that I fully draped over with a tarp, and it, it's really easy to use and enjoy the stars. You just undo it, and then you can really enjoy the view. But it's cloudy right now. I think we've had only one clear night in the last month or so here in the Northwest. So uh, we'll be using this more uh, as the season winter sets in. So... Uh, yeah, that's a high level overview and I appreciate you watching this video. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them below and I will see you on the next video. Thank you.